Welcome to Celestial Chronicles. Today, we embark on an extraordinary journey to uncover the mysteries of the oldest and most complete Bible on earth, the Ethiopian Bible. Written in the ancient Guizi language, this sacred text is nearly 800 years older than the King James Version and contains a staggering 81 to 88 books, compared to the 66 books found in most Western Christian Bibles. The Ethiopian Bible is a treasure trove of biblical literature, including not just the canonical books but also a host of other texts that were excluded from the King James Version. Among these are the Book of Enoch, Esdras, Baruch, and all three books of Maccabee, as well as many others. These texts offer a deeper and more comprehensive understanding of early Christian theology and history. Ethiopia, a land rich in history and culture, has long been a center of Christian faith. The Ethiopian Orthodox Church has preserved these ancient scriptures for centuries, safeguarding a unique and unbroken Christian tradition. At the heart of this tradition lies the Ethiopian Bible, written in Guizi, a language that has been dead for centuries but remains a liturgical language for the Ethiopian Church. Our journey begins at a remote Ethiopian monastery, where the world's earliest illustrated Christian book, the Garima Gospels, was discovered. These incredible manuscripts are named after Abba Garima, a monk who is said to have arrived in Ethiopia from Constantinople in 494 AD. According to legend, Abba Garima was able to copy the entire gospel in a single day because God miraculously delayed the sun from setting. This divine intervention allowed him to create what is now known as the Garima Gospels, one of the oldest illustrated Christian books in existence. The Garima Gospels are a marvel of ancient artistry. Despite being over 1,500 years old, the illustrations remain remarkably vibrant, a testament to the skill and devotion of the monks who created them. These manuscripts not only hold religious significance but also offer invaluable insights into the art and culture of early Christian Ethiopia. The discovery of the Garima Gospels is a monumental achievement. These manuscripts provide us with a direct link to the early Christian period in Ethiopia. The fact that they have survived in such excellent condition is nothing short of miraculous. They offer a unique glimpse into the religious practices and artistic traditions of the time. The preservation of the Garima Gospels has been made possible by the Ethiopian Heritage Fund, a British charity dedicated to conserving Ethiopia's rich cultural heritage. Their efforts have ensured that these ancient texts remain intact for future generations to study and appreciate. Conservation work involves painstaking efforts to stabilize the fragile pages and restore the colors of the illustrations. This delicate process ensures that the Garima Gospels will continue to inspire and educate for many years to come. The Ethiopian Bible and the Garima Gospels are more than just religious texts, they are symbols of a rich cultural and spiritual legacy that has endured through the ages. They remind us of the deep faith and artistic brilliance of the Ethiopian people, and their unwavering commitment to preserving their heritage. Today, the Ethiopian Orthodox Church continues to use the ancient Guizi language in its liturgy, keeping alive a tradition that dates back over a millennium. The Ethiopian Bible remains central to these religious practices, providing spiritual guidance and a connection to the past. Among the unique texts found in the Ethiopian Bible is the Book of Enoch, a fascinating work that delves into the nature of angels, the origins of evil, and the coming of the Messiah. This book, along with others like Esdras and Baruch, offers a richer and more diverse biblical canon that broadens our understanding of early Judeo-Christian beliefs. The inclusion of these extra-biblical texts in the Ethiopian Bible provides a broader context for interpreting the traditional canonical books. They offer insights into the theological debates and religious practices of early Christian communities, which were much more diverse than often assumed. The Ethiopian Bible's extended canon challenges us to reconsider what we know about early Christianity and the development of the biblical canon. It highlights the rich tapestry of beliefs and traditions that have shaped Christian thought over the centuries. Ethiopia's contribution to Christian history and culture is immense. From its ancient churches carved out of solid rock to its vibrant religious festivals, Ethiopia offers a unique and profound expression of Christian faith. The Ethiopian Bible, with its wealth of texts and stunning illustrations, stands as a testament to this enduring legacy. As we conclude our journey, we are reminded of the timeless beauty and spiritual depth of the Ethiopian Bible. Its pages hold the stories and wisdom of generations, preserved through the dedication and faith of the Ethiopian people. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of one of Christianity's greatest treasures. Be sure to subscribe to Celestial Chronicles for more fascinating insights into the world's spiritual heritage. Until next time, may your journey be filled with wonder and enlightenment.